Gaza's humanitarian crisis is worsening, with warnings that countless Palestinians are at the risk of starvation. Israel cut off services, including food, water, fuel to Gaza, after Saturday's attack by Hamas that killed 1,300 Israelis. Now, Gaza residents are being told to evacuate southward for their safety as the Israeli military vows to seek out to Hamas terrorists believed to be hiding in tunnels and homes inside Gaza City. 12 Palestinians were shot and killed by Israeli forces around the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem during protests in support of Gaza. Elsewhere, at least one journalist, Reuters videographer Isam Abdallah, was killed and four others were wounded while covering the war between Israel and Hamas in southern Lebanon. An Israeli shell landed on the group during fighting with Hezbollah militants. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci takes a closer look at the situation in Gaza and Israel's fight against Hamas. An urgent evacuation is happening today in Gaza after a warning of an impending ground attack from the Israeli military. There are civilians here whom are not our enemy and we do not want to target them. We are asking them to evacuate. The IDF spreading this message in Arabic on social media and through pamphlets, telling nearly half the population, 1.1 million Gazans, to leave the north and flee to southern Gaza as Israel prepares an offensive against Hamas. We understand it's going to take time. Videos from the Strip show residents strapping their belongings onto roofs of cars, some hopping onto flatbed trucks, others, with few resources, walking for miles. This whole operation is really unprecedented. Ambassador Nancy Soderberg is the former White House Deputy National Security Advisor, now a director at the University of North Florida. We're looking at a humanitarian crisis here specifically in Gaza, without food, without water, without fuel, these hospitals, some say, could turn to morgues soon. How do you balance that with trying to stop Hamas, but also preserving life of the civilians there? I'm very worried about the humanitarian crisis that's about to unfold here. Hopefully it will be... Um, limited to military targets against Hamas. That's very hard to do when, when they're embedding themselves in the civilian population. So it's a very tense situation unfolding. The UN um, has been supplying humanitarian aid in Gaza. They're going to have to step up that fact. Where are these people going to go? Um, who's going to take care of them? A million people all of a sudden moving south into an already overburdened poor population of another million. Senator Marco Rubio from Florida has been a vocal supporter of Israel, saying Hamas terrorists must be stopped. They hide behind human shields deliberately. Uh, they have been messaging for days on their when they had their TV network running and their radio stations telling people not to leave their homes. So these guys hide behind civilians. Then the attacks come in response and um, and unfortunately people die. And then they run to the global press and say, look what horrible things Israel is doing. And everyone pressures Israel to stop. Hamas survives. They come back and kill more Jews again. Tonight, many fear the next few days will be especially bloody. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.